Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. So it is made in 135 scale as it's written here and it copies SD KFZ 247 B. it's a German command of armored vehicle. It's a completely new release, it was announced on Spielwaren Messe and now we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and we are going to check it together and see what is actually supplied in this nice box. So first of all packaging size is typical for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art here you can also see the name of this model and of course kit number is 35110. Next on the side here we have some information about the kit there uh, should be 247 parts which is really surprising for a vehicle with length of 144 millimeters it won't be huge even though it's 135 scale and here on the opposite side you can see the same mark and option I would say side profile and front and rear views but I hope there will be more markings inside so we are going to open it together here we have this special um, I would say sticky tape seals so I have to use sharp knife in order to cut through and then we will check everything together in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially we have a special uh, donate button on our website so if you appreciate our work and you want to help us develop even further we can uh, accept your donations via PayPal with help of this button or there should be a join button here for a YouTube membership which actually can give you the free model every month and I think it's a really cool perk for uh, supporting us and of course I will really appreciate your help because it will help us develop a better quality and maybe check some other kits in our video reviews. So overall box structure is typical for this brand. We have a color printed top section so just give me a second to open it. As you can see it's flexible, it does not provide any protection because this sturdy white cardboard box should actually I would say save all the parts from the possible issues. We open it and here we have all the parts, they are packed into the same plastic bag. On the bottom we have an assembly manual and of course it will also house decals as you will see further in this video review. But we are going to start with plastic parts so I have to open this plastic bag. Okay, just let me remove everything out of the plastic bag. Then we have two more plastic bags and we are going to start with the main, I would say, thing that will make you think whether to change it or not. As you can see we have separate plastic bag with vinyl tires. And frankly speaking I'm not sure why they decided to use vinyl parts in this kit. I mean it's 2020 outside and we still get vinyl parts in the kit. So they're not ugly, I mean you can see that the tire pattern looks really fine. They should be okay for out of the box build but that's pretty much all. So if you would like to play with them, maybe replicate a, a flat tire or something else, then you'll have to pick the resin parts maybe or maybe to find some plastic parts replacement if there are any available. Next we go on with another separate plastic bag, so here we have a clear sprue, so again I need a moment to open it, so just give me a second. Okay, so here it is. It's a clear sprue, I'm not sure if there are any masks included into this kit, but molding quality seems to be fine, so they're packed separately, so it won't be scratched. Everything should arrive to you intact, and you shouldn't be worried about any possible issues. Next, we start with grey plastic spruce, so here is the first one. And straight away it comes with a top house section, if we can name it so. As you can see, it's molded as a single piece part, which is really cool, because you won't have to play with alignment of separate panels. Here we have a floor panel and what else, also some external panels, even the dashboard is here. But I would like to zoom in so that you can see that this floor panel, it actually has some features on it. As you can see, there is a 
metal structure replicated here we also have some internal parts also pre-molded so it would be worth playing with some painting and weathering techniques and maybe thinking how to expose it here and here now I show you the this one piece top coning section Note that the attachment points are quite okay, I don't see any possible issues here, we have a dashboard here. Next we continue with some parts for external elements, various hatches. And yes, hatches are molded separately, which is really cool, because it might be handy for a figure's placement. And of course they can be just open on your vehicle to add some interest to the external appearance. Here you can see that inside we don't have anything. Which is not surprising because this is not an interior kit as far as I remember. But there should be some engine parts from what I remember when it was announced. And we are going to proceed with the next plastic sprue. So here we have a main frame or chassis bars. You can see them right in the middle of this frame. Also we have a lot of thin parts, so be careful with them, it would be easy to break them, they're really thin and I really doubt that you will be able to replace them, so you will have to fix them somehow. We have some tricky shaped parts here, as you can see they're angled out of the box, I can show them like this, so that you understand what I'm talking about. And we can even zoom in so that you can check all these parts closer, so we start with this corner. And here we continue to the top section and next we move to the side. So this main frame or chassis bars they are pre-molded with some thin parts here so be sure not to break them off. And here we have more of various thin elements for suspension and for the engine details. So it's really cool that engine will be included here because not that many brands, I mean we can admit it that not that many brands actually include engine into their kits. And next we have two identical plastic sprues. So I will show you only one because there is no need to show the same set of parts again and again. Here it is. Let's place it here. We zoom in a bit. And now you should be able to see that here we have some parts for suspension. For example here you can see suspension arms. We also have some parts for the engine. And everything looks fine, I mean molding quality is really good, we can zoom in even more so that you can check these parts closer and I think all these parts deserve a careful weathering. And these are by the way the wheel rims, so they will be inserted into the rubber tires. And here we have various handles, again engine parts. And let's flip it over just to see what is from the opposite side. So there is not that much I would say. Okay, let's zoom out. And next we go on with another plastic sprue here. So this one is dedicated, actually that's the last grey plastic sprue. And here we get the side panels for the main hull. We also have engine parts, this spare wheel which is molded together with this special casing or pouch I would say. Now next we also have wheel arches, some pioneer tools here. And that's pretty much all. Also some internal equipment such as radio stations included into this kit. Let's zoom in so that you understand what I'm talking about. So here you can see them closer. They have nice pre-molded details so it's worth using some of your, of your painting skills and applying them here. And here you can see some pioneer tools and again some internal equipment, fire extinguisher and wheel arches as well. If you flip it over here you can notice that this side panels they have some guiding elements for external elements as well so it will be easy to combine everything together it won't be just a guesswork and that's really cool because it will speed up the assembly process next as I said in assembly manual we have a decals sheet so it is a quite small decal sheet with all necessary symbols and it hints that we have more than one marking option in this kit. We have also dials for the dashboard or for the instrument panel if you prefer and printing quality looks nice so I don't see any possible issue here. Next we go on with assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of large brochure. Let's zoom out. Close the camera a bit. So 
so that it won't be that bright. And I would say that overall layout is standard for ICM. We have short history note, technical specifications and paint chart, also some safety devices. Next we go on with parts map and note that from the clear frame you will need only the lenses for headlamps, so basically you don't need masks. And here we start assembly with the main chassis bars, as you can see you'll have to combine several parts. Then you assemble it with the middle bars, suspension arms, wheel axles here. And next we continue with the gearbox. This is a full wheel drive vehicle as far as I understand. We have also engine here and it gets assembled right onto the uh, chassis. Next we continue with wheels. So as I said you have to combine plastic parts with vinyl parts, be ready for that. And here we continue with the interior floor, it will be detailed inside and outside. Note that doors should be installed in a special sequence, so follow it because otherwise it won't be possible. Here we continue with installing these two walls together. Then we install this sub-assembly on the chassis. We install these various thin parts here and there. And there will be mud guards. What else? Here we have some of the internal elements, so it means steering wheel and also dashboard, some radio equipment, seats. So basically we get quite a nice interior here, which is really cool because um, it might be displayed with open doors, because as you remember we assembled them separately, so I guess they can be positioned open on your vehicle. And it would be a shame to hide all these parts inside and not to expose them on the finished model. And next we continue with the separate windows and also we combine them with the top section. Next we also get the separate front hatches, also this special hatch for the engine. Again it can be opened, I'm not sure why manufacturer does not show such an option. I mean if it's molded separately then it can be opened in order to expose the engine. And next we continue with more parts here and there, so as you can see top will be open. I'm not sure why I thought that top section will be closed. Therefore whole interior will be visible on the finished car or vehicle. And therefore it's worth playing with weathering in order to make it more interesting. Here we continue with installation of various minor elements such as side view mirrors and headlamps. And this is a step 112. Next you have your vehicle ready to be painted maybe, or just ready. <clears throat> here we have two marking options, they are finished in grey color. And here we have two more in a grey and sand color. One is from Russia and one is from France. Interesting that this color was used in France in 1944. So this release should be already available, you can get it on official Max webshop. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!